Peace. Peace to everybody. Thank you for joining me again. This is A Beautiful Law. My name is Illa G. Welcome to the third episode. Thank you for everybody who's been watching, who's been commenting and everything. It's very dope. You know, I'm trying to do this weekly. Just, uh, uh, this is my version of helping, hopefully helping people talk to their kids or build relationships with your kids. And for young men, young black men, period, men, period, to stay out of the street. Stay out of the street. It's not, it is not, it is a beautiful lie. You know, it looks glamorous when you see people with the cars, the jewels, and everything, and the, the sword of respect, but it's a lie. The, you know, they, you know, five year, a five year run in the street is not worth 30 to 40 years of your life in prison. It's just not it. It makes no sense. So, you know, just in case you didn't know, we're just going to throw this little dart out there. I named this series A Beautiful Lie from a song I created. You know, if you was a hardcore Illa fan, you would know that I have a song called A Beautiful Lie, which talks about the streets. You know what I'm saying? No one sees her face. No one sees her shape. But yet, everybody loves her. You know, that's what the main thing was. You know, she when you're locked up, you don't get a letter from the streets. A letter, you won't get a phone call, won't get a visit, no love, you can't marry, streets, are, no, it doesn't happen. So, it's all a beautiful lie. With that being said, this is brought to you by New York Minute and Illogy Apparel. Make sure you go to uh, Illogy Apparel, see this, this is the face tee, I made this face hoodie, hoodie on there. You know what I'm saying? Go get you something. Hats, t-shirts. Um, we got a whole bunch of things, a whole slew of things on there. You know what I'm saying? But sneakers and phone covers and all sorts of things. So make sure you go to Illa G Store, Illa Apparel. I'll leave the link and, you know, there. So you click the link and go to that. Now, um, also make sure you like and subscribe. So, you know, leave comments at the bottom. I will answer them back. We could talk about it, everything, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully some of y'all can tell stories of, you know, what's been going on with you. Now, with this episode, episode three, we're going to talk about for the love of money. Uh, basically, I'm going down the line of things I remember of, you know, what I've done. And as I think about them years later, I think about what I learned from it. You know what I'm saying? At that time, you're in it, so you don't learn. You, you know what I'm saying? You're not thinking about it at the time. You're just going fast. So, all right. So, we're just going to go from... So, I like... At a point in time in my life, I was cutting hair. Right? It's called me G the Barber. And one of the rules back then was, you know, you don't... Well, it's period. You don't shit where you eat at. You know what I'm saying? You don't do dirt and everything you eat at. But, you know, that wasn't, you know, I was I was pretty much there. And I learned that trade because of being broke. So I just saved up money, bought a pair of clippers because I wanted a haircut every time I felt like getting a haircut. Now I had a good model going. You know what I'm saying? I had a business co coming out of my crib and so on and so forth. And I was making money. I was making pretty good money doing that. And I was very proud, you know, that I can afford things. I can pay a bill. I can give, a, you know, money to my mother, pay a bill. You know, I could, you know, because I, I'm going to tell you something, some real slick thing. Like, at that time, I stopped eating pork. So, you know, <laughs> a couple family members tried that too. And, you know, my brother and my uh, cousin tried it. And about a week later, they was eating pork again. So my mom, once I said it to my moms, she cooked pork two weeks straight, every day. I had to buy my own food. And it took like a couple months and she was like, oh, you're really serious. Yes, I'm serious. I'm not eating that shit no more. You know, it's a disgusting animal, I'm not eating it. So she left it alone. But with that, you know, moving on, you know, so I'm, I'm doing good. I just wish 
I knew about economic values and everything. You know what? I learned about this later, right? So I'm going to say this is a good book, simple, plain. Uh, they're not telling me to market this and everything, but for us to get back to where we was as people, black people, um, which you know, Moroccan or whatever, we could talk, that's a whole different subject. Get this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Breaks it down simple. If I would have knew about this, what he broke down in this book back then, when I had my own business, um, I, I wouldn't have went through what I went through in the streets. But I didn't know. Lack of knowledge. Yeah, I know it was a government plan, but it was still a lack of knowledge. You know, I would, instead of doing things, I should have had a storefront, could have bought, you know, started a business, you know, LLC, all that, and everything. You know, I could have had a barbershop, my own barbershop back then, but didn't happen. What I do with the money? Bought clothes, jewelry, uh, handguns, sad to say, bought handguns, and I just repeated a cycle, a cycle of going towards the bad thing, streets. So with that came, you know, other things. It's like seeing, it's like you want it more and more. I want more and more. So then after a while, you know, an incident happened, and I'm not, I'm not cutting hair no more. Now I'm, I'm fledged, like full-fledged out there, going, trying to get everything for what? Like it's just mainly for what? Because I'm actually... The things I'm doing are all, everything I'm buying is liabilities. A liability, for those that don't know, a liability takes money out of your pocket. It's not making you any money. It's not making you, so the clothes, liability, didn't make me no money. The sneakers, liability, didn't make me no money. Frivolous, nothing, going absolutely nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. So, that's what I learned. I should have, you know what I'm saying? The moral of the thing is, learn. If you have something going for you and you're making money from it, learn the business of it. You know what I'm saying? Get an LLC. Read books on it. You have the internet now. You know what I'm saying? But internet wasn't big when I was younger. But if, you, if you're a book reader, read books. Ain't nothing wrong with reading a book. Read a book. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait until you're inside a jail cell to read, read a book. It's that, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's never too late, but don't wait till then. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, you know, you might not be able to make it out. So you have computers, you have phones, phones, everything. Google, Google it. Economic things. You know what I'm saying? Parents, please, if you don't, if you don't know about it, you look it up. You know what I'm saying? You look it up and learn. Teach them now. You know what I'm saying? The enemy is teaching, the enemy is teaching your kids foul stuff, wrong direction, every day. They're using the ammunition of teaching our kids and us the wrong things, leading us into a wrong direction every day. So there is no limit of when you should start teaching your kids. Like I said, I, I recommend this this book rich dad poor dad seriously like it's it's so simple i'm teaching both my kids both my sons about that and it is to see them know the difference between an asset and a liability and it's so simple it is so simple just remember asset puts money into your pocket a liability takes money out of your pocket so when you want them new Jordans or whatever it is you want to buy, what is it doing for you? Is it an asset or is it a liability? Simple. Don't let greed take over you. Learn. Learn, learn your thing. Learn what it is that you do that makes you great, that makes you powerful. So... Like I said, I don't want to keep these things long. I want y'all to tune in all the time. But this episode was about the love of money. 
how money led me and not having the knowledge took me away from a place where I had a business like 14, 15 years old and not knowing what to do correctly led me to being greedy, wanting more and more and more to do absolutely nothing. Nothing. Went to prison, street life, everything. It's not worth it. Talk to your kids. Keep them out of the street. If you're a young man watching this, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a beautiful lie. That's the name of the show. It's all a beautiful lie. I am taking full advantage of this right now. So whatever I have talents to do, if I, whether it's writing, music, talking to you, I'm doing it. So talk to your kids. Love is love. Black pride, black power. Slap holes, eat bacon. You already know what it is. That means just be aggressive. Do what you need to do. My name is Illa G. Thank you for watching The Beautiful Lie. Salute.